currently being joined uh, by a tax analyst, Mr. Oji Philip Oji, who will be speaking to us concerning the impact of fiscal reforms on economic stability and climate resilience in Nigeria. Now, Mr. Oji is vast in this field, and uh, as we both, as we look to proffer some solutions towards the economic hardship daunting Nigerians, uh, he will be. Uh, it will be an interesting uh, take. Hello and good morning, Mr. Oji. Good morning, thank you. Good well, well, it's it's a pleasure to have you in the studio thank with you us. Very much. Glad to have you. In the news this morning, the major story trailing most newspaper headlines is uh, the story about the Central Bank of Nigeria hiking the interest rates by about 27.25%. Something that many experts like yourself, I believe, uh, I would argue that is going to cripple the economy further than it will salvage it. What do you make of this development? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, sometimes I... I I begin to ask myself, right? Uh, because I I don't believe in making noise. I've been pushing a bill to establish independent national revenue and patriot agency of Nigeria for seven years now from eighth assembly. Alright? So whatever this government is a bit active, in fact I have to commend them, they are concerned about revenue because uh, the natural resources and other GDP income uh, are, are suppo is supposed to be in Nigeria should have been a reserve. Yes. But we believe in it. What we cannot be able to tell what will happen the next minute, particularly the oil. So it makes us leave the main article that you use to run economy. Any economy that forgot, that did not do well in taxing will never do well. So back to the one you asked me, which I don't always like to, dip, to go and dwell in the central bank matter because yes. it's almost not my fear. But then I'll tell you something. No matter whatever you ask, you add, and you say you are doing a progressive tax, and you go and hike, uh, what do you call it? Uh, interest rate. Uh, interest rate. It will still go back to the end user, which is the vulnerable, the poor. Uh, the monthly salary paid workers, I mean the wage earners. The wage earners. So, in the those things, they will bring it back. Yeah. What, whatever, if it costs on whatever thing you do, you claim you are charging the big, the big man, but it is back to them, because when they do, they charge it back to what they are doing, and you see that all those things will start going up, and their, their income cannot stand, which already is not standing what is going on. Yes. The market reality is against the income that people are getting, so high hike in anything but in VAT, but in this thing we are doing even the customer have decided to add tariff income duty tax yes because the reason is that they are claiming that there's a particular amount dollar is it, it rate is in naira so they have to go to like, according to the dollar rate to be able to charge according to what they, the, the calculation i know about it but what they are doing there they say they are charging the importer it's not the importer to see go back to those who are going to buy those goods. No, no. It, so no. Rec recently, <laughs> well, uh, Mr. Oji, recently I saw videos on the internet circulating on the internet that due to the high rate of import duty tax uh, imposed on importers by the federal government alongside uh, the Nigeria Customs Service, people are now butchering cars and bringing them in as scraps to avoid the high rate of uh, import tax. I is this the level to which? Um, uh, the Nigerian import system has been reduced to? That is a very a very tiny segment. What is vehicle? We're talking about hike in custom duty. Vehicle is just one little segment. It appears that people are now, are now resorting to this sort of means Does that to say, be able to, to is, survive. Is it going to make any difference? Get worse. Right? Yes. So the topic is what do we do to cut down the cost of importation? I mean, uh, duty. Yes. Eh, duty. Eh? Eh, but adding money every day can never have never saved any country. But, but in, in your opinion, what can we do? What can the federal government do mm -hmm. in, in line with the NCS, in line with FIRS and all, to ensure that, yes, revenue is generated, but it doesn't come at the detriment 
of a back-breaking taxation on Nigerians. Okay. Now I want to tell you that I would like to dwell in the area that will make look as if I'm not going to go the way you want. Okay. Let me tell you. Okay. Okay. Let me tell you. In 1936, that because if you don't get the route, you yes. won't be able to do it. We have all the time. 1936. Yes. Nigeria after Nigeria get, get after the tw 1929 women riots, Fumila Abara women riot. The people, the, the, the citizens of any nation react whenever you touch tax because it directly that is the only place government have close interaction with the people. They may not know what you are doing, they don't care what you are doing, but when you touch tax, it will touch them. Now, they, they were doing that in, after that trouble. The trouble kill people because they normally kill people. Uh, so, but. When there is National Assembly, like I know now, I've been following them for seven years, you don't need to go to the street to fight. Go with your, but take whatever is your grievance to the National Assembly. They are representing us. They are the mini Nigeria. <laughs> All this, they are going to protest. I have been saying no. I'm old enough to say no. I'm 63. I'm, I will soon have grandchildren. So, what I'm trying to say is that by that 1929, after that trouble, the white were now conscious to bring women close to know what they are doing. Even though the, the, what the women demanded is that they shouldn't pay tax, which they are paying tax in some ways, but you wouldn't know they are paying. But asking them practical tax the way they are asking me, they said no. And eventually they agreed. This, this is 1929. Now in 1936, I'm telling you, somebody like me again was started writing, saying that we are paying Queen that tax direct, that we should collect our tax locally and pay Queen royalty. There will be discussion in tax. If you don't carry the people along, you are wasting your time. So the people said no. In fact, it took them three years, 36, 37, 38, before they were able to succeed our 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 our, our, our merchandise that time, who is like uh, Dangote, uh, Odumegu, Juku, uh, father, yes. uh, Louis Philippe Juku, yes. was able to take the memo, or let me call it the, 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 the telegram, or whatever. That time, you cannot, where can you go to Queen? It's the only person who can go to Queen that time. And I was, the person came, the way I was going to people, I've been walking, I'm moving around. So the person give it to him direct. Because if you give it to the why they will tear it on the road. They won't present it in the parliament in the UK. So they, they still reach Queen from Louis Ojuku, who is like Dangote at that time. Yes. Queen opened it and said, what do you want? He said, look, our people are complaining. I saw a reason with them. Say, what is it? Say, let us collect our, let us have our own tax frame and pay you your royalty. And he, he know that it's correct. Since it was Ojuku that is talking, we accepted. I write a memo to that effect. In short, from order was from UK down here. The people, the Governor General, that is ruling Nigeria, the white man, accepted it, and they created Federal Bureau of Internal Revenue (FBIR). I'm sorry, I'm taking your time, but no, be no, careful no. that. There, so now, what time. I'm trying to I say mean, is this: yes. when did that thing happen? Because somebody took the thing, like I'm doing now. They can't let me see President, but one day I will see it. Because I know what I'm doing. Now, the thing came because one, somebody have to break the that gap between the people and the queen. And the thing came. They now created this. And I was collecting tax and paying with royalty. You see, they built bridges, roads, railway. Nigeria started developing. This is called economic freedom that I'm preaching today. Uh, Louis Ojuku got economic freedom to Nigerians before even we got our independence. Because economic freedom is the first thing you do. You will stabilize the country before yes. you talk about freedom, or maybe you are, you are independent. So now, since that time, everything called tax was abandoned. Nineteen thirty-nine, nobody touched tax again until nineteen ninety-two. President Babangi who is an army man, he was the most wisdom man in Nigeria. So I will say it. Let nobody. I don't care how people feel. Do you know why I call him like that? You know, call Professor Manele Dozin and say, please. Come and restructure this tax. Let's have a different method of taxing. Because people are fighting on the way. You see somebody at a bar, Omar here, Uyo, Calab, anywhere you go, they will touch at the back and say, show me your paper. You fight, they beat people. Maybe you are younger. But I'm telling you what happened. You beat somebody. Collectors, Papangeda say no. They come and build. That is when Federal Inland Revenue come on board and the FBR, IR have to go. It was relegated. Yes, the three tiers of government now were structured to collect the tax to stop all this stop and search. They said they will cross the road. Embarrassment. But 
After doing that, Bangladesh still think that the best way is that this paper we are tearing like this is to stop. First of all, it will stop asking tax from the the poorest people. For the poor, because the poorest, yes. going to the compound and giving you one paper, they will dif differentiate the year with the kind of color. It's a trouble. Uh, a lot of things in the market square, or maybe you are just passing the across the road with Christie can be asking. So, Babangeda was wise again to bring in one man called Dr. Sylvester that will go in the same 1992, and now that was, it was introduced. introduced. Yes, one man doing this thing. Do you know this was the same tax that Babangeda do? And now you go and buy something, you pay, you pay that, you pay tax. So, the women that even claim. They don't want to pay tax, we even pay without knowing. They will pay tax put, without knowing. You pay, you pay. It's good. I'm just telling you how good the thing is. Yes. I'm not saying they shouldn't pay. I'm just saying, can you now see that there's a lot of way you do something to go well? But the, another problem that's leaking, which I will get to, yes. is how well we were able to do it to not affect that uh, vulnerable people much. Because they go, they will place, they go to buy something, they place the poorest man, buy something. There was no chance to be able to know. Who is who poor is who and is. as far as fast as is concerned, because you are claiming they are doing they are doing what they call now progressive tax. It's, a, it's not true because they card a poor man carry to go and put money in POS. Don't want to know whether you are dangle there or you are crippled. It's the same card. Immediately you put it, charge will happen. So whether a dead man want to be buried today, as far as they carry the card, the man is already dead. Carry the card, you know the number. Carry the card to go and put the money to buy coffee or dig the ground, buy drink for people. It's still to the same tax. You pay tax as a dead man in Nigeria. A baby is born this morning, and if you buy pampas for hours, our old baby, they will be pay tax because if, if the baby is not born, they will not buy pampas. I'm sorry, you may look. Or, or, I want to tell you why Nigeria should know. No, no, no. My, 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 my eyes are beginning to Let open, me tell you to, something. open up to it. Anybody yeah. saying they are doing a progressive tax is lying because anything called VAT or, or transaction charges is a regressive tax because it, it can never differentiate. You can't know who owns it. What are they doing? Because as you, buy, as you go pull the money in the market to just buy Ogo, tomato, Eguisi, a very poor woman yes. that even don't have money to buy meat. They pay tax just to buy a few, few things because most of them today they no longer carry cash. So instead you have to pull ten thousand, she will only have two thousand naira, which is supposed to ordinarily she would have pulled ten thousand and be buying with liquid cash. He now buys with card because they say there's no money. I'm telling you that each two thousand a woman used to buy just to buy indomie. As they pull it with electronics is good, but I'm telling you about about twenty something naira goes as as tax. Can you imagine? You pay tax to pull this two thousand because it must happen. So you call, make call, you pay tax whether you're crippled or not. I mean, they are asking somebody you are paying the tax through the call you are making. So it's regressive. Whoever call it progressive is lying. My friend is Taiwo Edele. Taiwo Edele is this presidential chairman. The committee chairman of fiscal policy and tax reform. Yes. I have been this argument has been going on for over four years with me and him. So, but I'm happy now he's the one handling it. If they what Tunubu need now is the people, President Tunubu, I love the way he's actually active. But what I'm thinking is that because this argument that I'm doing with the Professor Taiwan, they, they, my my bit what is that they overlook tax inspector. That man that will stand to mitigate between the taxpayer and the government is yes. very important. I will give you the history of America. Okay. Now, you see where Babangida leave it. Since 1999, when the most classic come on board, nobody touched tax again today. So for them to come and, uh, because I know he's going to change, tax law is going to be written, which they have perfected it. Uh, because it came a lot of late, very late, because the way our civilians who is managing democracy is managing anything called economy. I was shocked because they think it's a executive work. It's not true. Okay. Anything called economy is the primary responsibility of the legislative side of government. Because what if they don't look at the things that will make it not to work well, they are not doing their job. Any other thing they are saying, pro their project, they are coming to take, tell them what they will do and get their community so that you are, you, you are representing Nigeria first. And it was have to go for economy first. Don't talk about people. When you get the economy working, you know, people will feed themselves. Forget about all this palliative. Oh. So now, since that time now, I'm happy that somebody who cares 
It's now taking it's action. It's now taking action. I accepted. Yes. I give kudos to Mr. President. Agreed. But what they are doing in the, in the reform and the economic planning, which is you will name the finance minister, the central bank governor, and the Taiwan Edele, because all these people, they end up in the table of Taiwan Edele. I'm sorry to say that because they may be doing something, but this is the person. But, who is but there's, a, there's, he's certainly, a tax there's certainly a meeting point. Yes, there's a reason is that he's an, a tax expert who have worked in PwC for years. So you know me for over four years. So if he say he don't know that the real trouble that we're having is non-accountability and not transparency system we are on, that's our trouble. Because Nigeria have the capacity to generate over 80 trillion naira. But I know. If they do what I tell them to do. Well, and, and, what, yeah, and, what, and what are you telling them to do? I'm dropping there now. Okay. Because the thing I saw you wrote that is going to be our topic, I have to change it because we are in a crisis, not, not challenge. Economic challenge, which means there's a, it may be some percentage, but we are in a zero point. We are in in a crisis. It's a crisis. I don't and, and, and there needs to be immediate and effective action. action. And this bill has been going on for close to eight years from eight assemblies. So my worry is that. I am not belonging to any political party, and nobody is funding me. I only get the use of Nigeria and Nigerian people, the whole 36 state of the federal. I visit some kings. I formed Association of Consensus on Nigeria Revenue and Economy. And I'm happy that they use. I was even using it to preach peace. Don't fight government. Calm down. They were even angry with me now, saying that all the things you promise us that we're going to listen to you, they're not listening to you. And I'm shocked. They used to invite me when federal well, 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 Let me come. Let okay. me go to the point because okay. we need the thing I'm. The, these are touching this place to know that Nigerians are actually patient. Okay. Let's be frank about that. Okay. Uh -huh. But whether they are going to do anything to get money for what they are doing now, they will not get it. You know why? In 1802, America went to United Kingdom to copy their income tax method. They came back. They start their food. That means after the World War, I mean, after the Civil War of America. Yes. 1806, sorry, they came back. Now, the 1919, uh, they created, because when they created IRS, they were managing it actually, actually but because they are learning. In 1919, they created CID of IRS like police. You carry gone. If it's get you, and if it's get the taxpayer. 1921, they created government accountability office to be able to monitor what the people collecting taxes is doing because they are the problem, not the payer. Payer is not a problem. I will tell you why. Do you know they were doing all this? But the thing is that it is still under the commission of IRS. All these, they are coming. They are all departments. They won't carry on under. So whatever the senior tell you to do, is what you, 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 you will do. have to do. about that. Yes. So now, in nineteen forties. Uh, Seven, they created ombudsman that will come to mediate. Ah, this is not charging this money so much. It has to people are for, to maintain a balance a, a, so that you don't go against their right. That's right. Yes. In 1956, they created inspection service of the area. But all of these things, uh, I see under I'm still under the, the, the uh -huh. higher. Cadre. So this is the area I'm talking about. Yes. I'm just trying to go to when I will round up. You will see where I'm going. That's fine. Now. In 19 December, okay, 47, because of that uh, special service, uh, CID, a man called uh, this man, Joseph Dunan, was caught in the middle. He was the IRS commissioner because he was, he was a political appointee. He didn't know what to do. He allowed the investigation and the thing caught up on him about 10 or something million dollars. He was jailed five years. So immediately after Joseph Dunan was jailed, this, the people who are coming in after him now know that the, it was this stupidity. He even claimed that, I don't know about tax. He even said so. They say... But, cannot, but he was at the helm of affairs. Yes, there's no need. You can't tell us that. In, he jailed. He was jailed. So, but when the people now come in, they now know that if they want to do anything, they will tell the department stop that investigation. It stops. People start complaining. You see how the thing is going. And they even have taxpayers advocate. You see the number of people but are under IRS. There was a particular point in time that the, some group of the MPs said, scrap this IRS, it's nonsense. And some group now said no. 
Reform it. Yes. This is not it. If you like, we can't bring angel from heaven. So so far now, it's a human being that will still run it. Or uh, whatever name you give it, end up a human being that will run it. Let's create a separate task inspector. That is how this is where I'm going to. Yes. I want you to know what we must do. They created the TICTA, Treasurer Inspector General for Tax Administration, because it was difficult. Whatever, if you immediately call somebody to come and, and they, uh, scrutinize tax collection, sorry for you, it's a big fight. Do you know how the bruises I have in my body? The bruises are not wound. They are crippled whatever I'm doing. I'm an international businessman. I'm not working for government. I've not worked for government before. So, but if you touch it, the people will start to challenge. Are you looking at us? Are you indicting us? It's not indictment. Huh? We're talking about the life of people here. So they created it in 1998, yes. all right? Yes. 1998, they created it and now started going to training because you must go to, for training. The, the training again now went back to UK again. They came back. Took that, took that. Before TikTok start started work, 1999, January. In the US? From, yes, in the, the US. The, the, from, from UK to the US? They come back now after yeah. six months training because you cannot do it. Even as I'm talking to you, if they if agree, approve it because I know they will approve it. I trust Goswami Babio, our our, our 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 uncommon governor, uncommon senior president. I'm not people who are complaining about him because he laughed too much. Otherwise, what are you telling me that he can turn around you, turn around a, a bush called a fire bomb that came out from Calabar empty-handed? I, I, I mean, is it he, this? He, he's a political gladiator. I'm just that, asking. That, that, is, is this you cannot do? That is no. that is concerned about about the common man. And just this morning in the news, he was vocal about the hardship in the Don't country worry. asking asking the president to ensure you. to ensure that uh, they cannot do anything please okay stop don't nobody talk, talk to president i don't want well, well, well i, 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 I will let me tell you something listen to me no 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 <laughs> that people that are talking to president are not comfortable about it okay you can't tell me you are a senator and you know about this bill particularly those people who know about the bill i'm sorry his excellency uh goes to you yet to know this bill very well I'm sorry. But people like Oji Zokalo, he did the bill first and second reading in the Ninth Assembly. Honorable Ben Kalo, I mean the Senate, the Chief Whip. Yes. In the, in the Rep, uh, Ben Kalo did it first and second reading. Yes. He's now the Deputy Speaker. Yes. Eh? Now we we'll come now. He's doing now, doing the thing again. He said, what a wise man, that Ben Kalo, very sharp. He, he still went ahead and bring eight people. I don't know what he told them, but I know he loved it. Come in. Let's do this thing. Labour Party is part of it. He did not he select people from different political parties. Look at this bill. They say it's good. One man is from uh, from my area, Afibo. He do it got away. So one woman is from uh, from uh, 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 Benue. I think other uh, Susan or, or uh, Kume family. So yes. we are, I'm just telling you that the thing is that that wise he is is that when you discuss tax, it's not regional thing. It's not to Muslim or Christian thing. It's, this is a concern that concerns everybody. So the, the legislators take this serious in any country. But my worry is that actually they are trying because at least I will at least I will give kudos to Ben Carlo. He's doing it. Why will he go and bring some people that are not even from APC? But the slow is too much. The Eight years. Is. If I were not a person who is ready for the trouble, I would run away. Because people, I mean, it's people getting, are, it's almost getting people to are it. laughing at me in diaspora and say, we tell you they will not take it. It's a shame. They will tell you, not be, they, not be then they chop the money. They will insult the list letters, but I, I, I'm not part of that type of insult. I will still say it the way it is. They must ask you questions to know. Let it not be a duplication of duty. It is not. That inspector is like, if you said you, do, you ignore it, you are ignoring that. You say that a, a living being like me, now you shot, you shot me from Britain. That well, is, well, well, what, what, what's inspector? the place of, of, of the FIRS if we need another tax inspector to ensure that people pay tax? Hello? That is why, as we, if I go like this, I come like this, listen to me. Yes. It is the job of National Assembly to listen. They have no requisite background to investigate or scrutinize or oversight federal and land revenue services have not been happening no no place that have ever happened in the in the in the uganda in kenya in ghana in uh, south africa they have tax inspector some people call their own ombudsman but all the gadget all the objective that is there is what i'm demanding in this one so the the, the only thing the only missing link here is that ombudsman the middleman between Eh, no, the, it's a the, department the, the, what I'm creating. Uh, exactly. Yeah. The, the department is the middleman in this situation. Yes, that's what I'm telling you now. The office of ombudsman is to make sure that that thing that will take taxpayers to court, 
don't happen because most of them have no capacity to challenge their matter in the court. So they will treat it very quietly. They don't charge. You understand? They will tell you, like now, do you know that the Federal Revenue and Customs will charge, charge a particular goose in one time, which is multiple taxation? But in UK, there was something they call Her Majesty Revenue and Customs, which means UK only is headed by one person. Custom and the revenue was one man. It is good we are using American method, so separate custom and separate federal. But if you add, this our own is more dangerous because if you don't have tax inspector that will tell them the limit of what they will do here, because there's something they call arm length transfer pricing and tax. If you don't have tax inspector, there will always be this multiple taxation in different formula. There's nobody to come and streamline and structure the thing the way it is. And again, the accountability side of it is very laughable because whatever thing you are doing, you are giving somebody waiver. He will still go and put the legal answer. I mean, I, even in transactions, you you, you find a seven point five percent VAT and then the withholding tax. People are taxed twice. <laughs> Wait now, I'm just telling you something you should know this morning. So yeah. the person to do this is not there. That is why you see people crying. The federal government will, or maybe somebody international citizens like uh, uh, people like uh, this. Uh, is it uh, what is this man that come last time say that we are not paying tax? I'm sorry for your time, but I have no, to no, finish no, what there, I'm there telling you. Let me time, tell you we are, we are that the reason why this is important this morning, whether it will, even if it takes us one hour, be patient. <laughs> I'm telling you, okay. I'm an expert. Okay. Let me tell you, do you know that that man who is saying uh, is, what is the name of that white man who say we are, we need, need to increase our tax from from, from the US or you, what, what part of the a friend, uh, that big man. Oh, Bill Gates. Uh, hey, you, <laughs> but when he said it, I was laughing because he may be correct. But what did you, did you know that it was because we are people are, our people are already paying with their blood. But the money was not. Some, in fact, let me tell you, let person somebody get angry. The money is not reaching the government post. That is even the trouble. That that that, 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 that that's a rather trouble. bold statement. Now, wait. Yes. Why I'm saying so is this. There's no way somebody will come and call GTB the other day and claim that GTB withheld VAT yes. for eight years. It won't happen now. It's supposed not to happen. It was in the news. They called them in the National Assembly yes. to query them and simply tell them to go and pay. They said they didn't know the, the intermediate, intermediate electronics uh, this thing did not, did not government own. A whole, a whole financial institution. The reason why is that this is just GTBO. It is what is going on. Which means, if somebody can withheld Nigerian money for eight years, does that mean that Federal Land Revenue you know, was able to even do what they're supposed to do? Well, the reason is that the, the work overload is too much. They, they, uh, their job is to collect tax at the minister tax, not to inspect tax. You cannot inspect yourself. Sorry, nobody should let them come. Let us do an open debate and win them. Because you cannot, even a child of primary school will tell you, you cannot investigate yourself. It's not possible. At least you should know that somebody's server is cut. Let me tell you what I'm bringing is to, to come, not to, not to collect money. They will put an installation that whatever you pay will hit the server. Let me see whether if you destroy your own, will you come and destroy somebody's own? Because the person is an independent revenue inspector. Who not? It don't concern him. But the thing is that whatever transfer, because Nigerians are not, we, the world is no longer paying tax in a liquid, in a I mean a practical. In practical uh, you don't visit people's office. But they're, they're all electronic. Everything generated. like that. So that the, the electronics hit the server of the inspector, so that the the, the, the people in the national service really have a very sound, easy job. When the committee on finance invite the, the inspector, or he have something you see that is a, a, not even a matter of controlling corruption. He may see the team passes, uh, artists that, that are not well done. He will take it to them. See the city. They will invite Federal Land Revenue. They, they will structure it. They will always, they are always there to make sure the areas the government is losing and the area they are touching the life of the people. Because these two people, nobody should suffer. If the government suffer, there will be no money to operate. If the people suffer, you collapse them, which is what is going on. No, now government don't have, the people don't have. So I call my program reconciling Nigerian people and the government because they are quarreling. Even when they went for protests, they don't even know what they want to ask government to do. The government know that they cannot be able to carry out what they are selling them to do. Yes. Pay subsidy, pay this, do that, do that. They are asking government money. Everything boils down to money. And the how to maximize this money is that the chunk of the greater part of this money is in overseas. You know why? The money we are not collecting is the one I'm talking about, so over 80 percent or 90 percent. You know why? Nigerians that are living overseas, they co I'm internationally trained. Yes. I am a businessman. I know it. So, so people are as rich as Dangote. You may not know. Here in Nigeria. 
outside, outside, outside you know, if somebody have and is and and a, a business, I mean, a company overseas and it's in dollar, uh, euro or a whatever a, a, or Dutch or in, pounds. In pounds, yes. Listen to me. That money, like this man brought his own in the table, so we can be able to see. It. But yes. I'm telling you, some people who are afraid of not having the electricity, I mean, the infrastructure to run, went away from here. And go build, even though America does that, America took most of their job to China because they may not be looking for infrastructure, but because the Chinese have price, price of their, their workers is low. I mean, they, 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 they work, they, they, the workforce. They work. They work. They have. They have people who are paid cheap money. Cheap labor. The labor. Yes. Thank you. Please, I'm coming. So, what I mean is that when they do it, do you know what with what OECD did? Organization of Economic Cooperation and Development, a United Nations Development Program. Yes. Eh? They do what they call tax inspector without border. That is what I'm asking. If you don't have tax inspector, they will integrate you to that uh, automatic information sharing they are doing, which is. The only way you make money, you didn't, you know it. The money will drop here, and it's going to drop here in foreign currency. So we are now borrowing money to come and cushion the effect of dollar rise. Is it not laughable to borrow money and come and cushion what? No, it will come down naturally if the type of money I'm telling you flow in here. Let me tell you about that dangote tema I'm telling you. These people are rich. Only Elon Musk paid American tax the tone of thirteen point something billion dollars only one year in one last year. year last year this year nobody has know how much now are you now saying that he alone is richer than all the installation nigerians have in overseas in in america so, certainly not oh uh, so if it, no matter how he's rich he's so much Nigeria, well, let me just give them 20 billion because whenever i say they will say you are exaggerating i'm not exaggerating they will, let, let it be 20 billion in america alone is 20 billion not in one thousand? You know what? We cook those you know, and bring them back here. You don't need to go there. It's automatic information sharing. They won't share the information with federal revenue because in Addis Ababa, second uh, December 2022, there's something they call Save the Children Task Transparency and Accountability Initiative, OECD UNDP. This was a seminar or, conf or let me call it a workshop. A workshop yeah. The end of that discussion was that any member, any of any country uh, member countries of the, uh, that belong to them must have that inspector to be able to guarantee the accuracy of the operation of the their, uh, their domestic tax uh, administration. Because if, if you don't have it, there's a lot of they said it will protect taxpayers' rights. Is very important, and they said another one is that it will equally protect the integrity of the the tax collector. The, the tax collector yeah. You know the reason? People openly tell me that they are thieves. Is it supposed to be? Certainly not. If they are not thieves now, fine. But let nobody be against creating tax inspectors so that if you in our language they say you do naro if you kill a sense of life for yes. somebody's body, allow the person to see that actually it was so, so it doesn't appear that yes. you just slapped the person. Federal revenue was alone. I'm even putting whoever is heading that place because they call them thieves. I'm just telling you. So anybody that's a drag making this food bill to food drag, because I already I, I they have exhausted my patience. So I'm trying not to be quarreling. You can see how ash my arm this morning. Sorry, please. No, 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 no. So it's, it's I am right. telling you that federal law revenue may be, be take, talking about somebody to come and supervise them. Are they joking with us? We employ them. Let them come. Let me talk to them. We employ. I wrote a letter to them. I wrote a letter to Taiwan. I'm not joking. At my age now, I should be talking about if it is like this, what will happen to my grandchildren? Very soon, my daughter will give birth to a child. What are you talking about? So, I will I enjoy Nigeria then? And read the time my children and my grandchildren will enjoy Nigeria, it's sounding like this. What is the cause? Tax transparency and accountability is not in Nigeria. And we are losing over 40 billion dollars in our international citizens a lot more. Every year. Because when I asked what you saw, Carl, because I want any put in a test, I would tell him when he was asked, what do you think? How do you think you can make this? I laugh and say, How many companies do you have in your family? You may not be the owner alone. Yeah, but here's but as, my... as long as you are a Nigerian, there should be some sort of taxation on these companies, even if they are. When bad. you pay your tax, yeah, you're not paying us. Pay in that land. The OEC treaty grant that the country of origin will take 70%. Which is huge. Listen, then the host country will take that. Are we now saying that we should leave our 70% for the sake of who? 
and the money is not kept for you. But, but what has been the happening money to the seventy? The money has been vaporized away. Do you know why yes. the OECD treaty was thinking in that direction? If you, if you, if you, if you take the job away here and go and build company, go to one other other place, yes. anywhere you go, go and build. Let the country charge you, but because they are thinking, because you can't cheat somebody two times. You cheat him, you do not because if they build com company here, yeah, give, they give you a job. Now that you cannot give build company in your country for whatever reason, whatever thing you pay there, let your country enjoy you that you went and make money for them. He gave you seventy percent. So, which is very very a big advantage. To but we are thinking. We don't even care that Nigerians are rich overseas. They were only concerned about maybe the, the they want to come, they will come to my top big company, or maybe they want to come and build a house during Christmas. They are coming, they say they will, will expect them money to come home. Somebody wants to bring money, want to spend the talk about money. Tax! Yeah, oh money, tax. We are losing. But, but, but why, why, why hasn't this been considered all these years? If, if I don't want to, it. I don't want to sound like that because I have somebody who will do it now because I'm going to. Already the youth of Nigeria have communicated me, they were worried. Last week, they say we saw you television. I was only always in television. NTA. Yes. Is you know recently that you people got to know me, and so the reason is that they said since you are saying there's a way out, what is keeping that bill? I say well, you know this is a stupid word. They say eight years. They were so angry with the. So they said they want to match the other. Don't match it there. We may have seminar. I will explain the bill to you, so that you now know that negotiation is the best engagement. The woman leader, that old name Sarah Jubrin, called somebody gave her my number. She called me. I went and met her. She followed me to the Senate. We sat for one hour with about five other women. They were asking, What is going on? I told them, but I, I actually I, I'm not going to diet the natural. But whether it is wrong to keep this bill all this while, it's wrong. I don't know why somebody will come and say Nigerians are hungry and angry. A senator. And somebody will say to do something. No, no, no. That's an insult now. You will do something too. Because there is a way out of it. It was even you that will do something, not to move. The man have brought out a match up plan. Why not carry it out by, by trying to know why are we not getting it right in collection of tax? Because adding money to the tone of 10% they are trying to add. And they yes. say they are going to do it. A particular article will not. Say, say them that I say it will you not it will, they will the, get the, the say uh, seven point five percent VAT that was uh, that, <laughs> that they want to increase ten percent. Hello, sir. It will that, yield that, nothing. That's, that's back breaking. Make it twenty five percent. It will eat anything. You know why? You cannot be able to separate them. The best way, leave it the way it is. Don't be hurried to go and start to separate the poor and the rich. Leave it. If you put tax inspector. And we bring the expert because we are going to go to US for training. Tikta Academy. They, they have academy in, 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 in Uganda and, uh, and uh, Kenya. Half half is tax inspector academy. Oh Lord, this man. What I'm talking about. This is already going on in Africa. And the giant of Africa that will make money. Just tell me if you if we make up to 40 billion, because I know it's important. The money will come. The people that will give you the money is the OECD tax inspector with our border. Because everything that is happening, remember. Base erosion, profit shifting, uh, uh, transfer pricing, all these things is not yet in the international cities. The international cities, Nigerian who own company overseas. That yes. is the name in tax. Yes. International yes. citizen. So if you go to this area, I'm telling you, you listen financial flow and so on. And sometimes security. Because whatever control this tax, we control trust financing. I don't want to bother about that because it's not almost, it's just like it's off my top, but it's, it is. Because it when United State was hit in 9-11, yes. in 9-11, Bush constituted a, 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 I mean, a, task, a task force against terrorist financing. Just the way you are seeing everywhere in the world, supremacy. The IRS who used to organize that thing went and bring FBI, sorry, went and bring FBI, Federal Bureau of Investigation, and bring Financial Crime Enforcement Network, just like our own EFCC. Yes. I mean, Nigeria don't even know the, some of them don't know the name of America who there is, but it's not tax inspector. So they bring them, I think that's all. To, to ensure to, that they, to, they to, mitigate no, the they, No, they came to Bush. He was hitting. The Tikta was just about to, two years old. Yes. The man wrote a letter, memo to Bush, said, What are you going, going to do without me? The man said, oh, Come, come, come. David C. Williams is the tax inspector general at that time. He came and said, look, gentlemen, 
He should immediately he make a statement. Bush make him chairman of that uh, committee. committee because he removed the, the, the FBI man. So what I am saying is that he came and said, whatever control, I mean, money, money, anything, tax, for tax, all this illicit financial flood, we control, so we say they wear one cloth, they wear one shoe, they wear one cap, they enter one vehicle. Yes. So it was only TikTok that had the requisite background to know which is which. Even the reason why they have to create Foreign Account Tax Compliance Act. Th that's why taxation outside of Nigeria, especially in places like the U.S., is based on your income. That's what I'm saying. They do, when Nigeria don't have access to the money. So. Everybody is taxed. And let me tell level. you again. Oh. If you go to United States now, because the minute the, the, the William was able to achieve it, yes. they give the, the job to Victor. When they are doing their job, when they see the one that consigns financial crime enforcement, they push it to them. Money laundering is a different thing, but they, it will make even it will even make the job of the F E F C C to be easy because there was a time the chairman of that uh, E F C C said, I, "I love that man. This man that is there now, this Olukode." Uh, uh, yes. Olukayo. Uh, yes. He said that we are not corrupt, but we have a system failure. Fine, a sound statement because if you don't put a remedy, you always allow the door open. I am sorry for whoever you are trying to catch. How many people that was caught or, or catch have you been able to recover the money? They will start to accuse them. Or uh, maybe they eat bribe. The reason is that you don't allow the trouble. Medicine after death is bad. Put a remedy because one, you see this, let me treat this particular tax law. Even if you make tax law to be death sentence, it will it won't do it. People say put a big charge, consider. Do you know when you catch the person? Well, 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 we have just about five minutes uh, to, shall, to, to, to wrap up this so conversation. So what I'm saying is that... But, but in, in five minutes, in five minutes, I just want you... I know we have been talking about international tax laws. We've been talking about how to ensure that international citizens of Nigeria are taxed. No! The 70% mm -hmm. is, 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 is remitted. It's not, new, it's not going to be a fresh tax. Uh, exactly. So to be able to assess our own fair share. Our own fair share. Very important. Which, which has been... Evaporating no, all the is talking to that Let's side. talk about the common man. Let's talk about the common man. The, the, the ones on the street who are taxed the VAT, the ones who are taxed the withholding tax, the, the middle and low income earner who is taxed PE. How do we ensure that tax reforms in the country are done in such a way that these people do not feel too burdened by the federal government? It's possible. You know why? When you have tax inspector, this thing will come down. Do you know after tax inspector in America? I will lose America for you. They have 50 states who have tax something states. Let me tell you that when America created TikTok, from Bush, they do what they call tax court. Yes. Obama do tax court. Uh, Trump do tax court because all this vote you are seeing may even be five percent. You know why? Five percent will give more money because we have what we call ta uh, uh, market size advantage in Nigeria. You eat, people eat like a cock now. The people just cha -cha 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 -cha. the time they may not be paying enough tax based on what the people who are poor eat. They eat every minute, they drink water, they, they are workers, they do many jobs, they yes. eat more than dangote. So they are paying very tax. So there's no need of carrying the thing up because that is the what they what I call that is easy to collect. Because you can't you can run away from that. You can't run away. Uh, from so that. automatically that is easy to collect. The pay as you earn it was deducted from the worker's salary before they even pay him salary. So the name is uh, what the name of in the in, ta in tax is easy to collect. So what we have here is widow's mite taxation. Nigeria is not charging yet. Even what they claim to go and charge the they say the excess profit in the what they what they call, say, well, we, when we, you say widow's mite taxation, what does that mean? Meaning that the people we are collecting from whatever you see they are paying is heavy on them. No Which is the reality? Very heavy. You have more money for your eye, but. Let me tell you, 5% will give you more money because our size, look from here to Calabar, I mean from Sokoto to Calabar, and look from Medjugorje to Lagos, and no. How many people that have transferred 10,000 Naira today? Mm. So, I know what to do. And I know if uh, His Excellency uh, uh, Abbabio, can me. hire the best to build you, let him not pay me up front. Let him hire me to structure and stop this nonsense. I'm promising you because... Nobody will come from the heaven and do it for us. Somebody did the Singapore, was staying in Singapore. They don't have any of these resources, but yet they are sound, man. That is where I studied and I see that I can do it. But my friends are laughing at me in diaspora. Say, we told you they will not do it. Can you cut off of insult is that? 
that the Tunubu who was able to put Lagos in Lagos. What do you need now? The people working with him should, should, should try their best to tell him about this tax something. I don't, I don't need the appointment. Let me tell you, I don't even want to hear the gist. I want you to know that one this morning. I don't want to. Will I be in 63 years coming to go, coming to head, head agency? People who are who you, you, are, you, you, men. Are, you are just you are just vocal and passionate about ensuring that the tax system in Nigeria. I say we have people fixed. like you and women and men who will be able to do this job. Uh, uh, Simple. Uh, uh, all right, Mr. Philip uh, O.G. Philip, I, I must thank you so much for. Yeah. Uh, quite a very robust <laughs> discussion. I mean, I just sat here and I, I felt schooled in, in, in this If you have your way, tell me. We'll, 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 we'll certainly continue okay. this, this discussion <laughs> maybe in subsequent uh, programs. Thank you very we much. We'd love to have you back on the program. Nigeria will not die. It that won't. is my message. It won't. And in 24 months, all these things will be settled. No more borrowing. Uh, all right. No more borrowing, according to Mr. Oji Philip. In Oji. 24 months. And in, in 24 months, yes, mm -hmm. and Nigeria will certainly not die. Mm -hmm. Well, that has been a very engaging conversation uh, with this uh, vast tax analyst, uh, Mr. Philip uh, Oji Philip Oji, who has been sharing his thoughts with us on ways of better bolstering the tax uh, reform system in the country and ensuring that the money that belongs to the federal government goes to the government and that the taxpayer at the bottom is not overburdened by taxation. Well, that's the much uh, time will permit us to take on this particular segment of the program. Morning Express is not over. At the top of the hour, Samuel Adeleke will be in the studio to bring us up to speed with developments in the world of sports. So for sports lovers, stick around. We will be back.